the, th the things that, that has put Irish education to the forefront is its, a, is its transparency and also its the element of external professional certification. Now, with a stroke of the pen, the current minister, Mr Rory Quinn, has abolished both these criteria. We're here at Sing Street CBS, celebrate our 150th year. We're out on this lunchtime, we came out in opposition to the government, proposed government changes to the junior cycle, the junior cycle exams, the introduction of continuous assessment and the absence of a state exam. We're out here today to um, show that we're standing together against uh, the proposed introduction of teachers having to correct their own exams, seeing it as a cost cutting measure by the government um, and you know we're standing united and we're not standing for it. The current junior cert happens in third year and the students are usually about 15 or 16 and it takes in all the work that they've done since first year and it's a final examination on each subject taking around two or three hours and it prepares them so well for the leaving cert. The way it's being introduced will be in a phased manner and as a school here that has been a uh uh, part of the Project Maths pilot uh, school system that we've introduced it over phases and it's taken a long while for any uh, um, uh, settlement of the junior sil uh, syllabus for Project Maths and that if we change all of the subjects in the same manner it'll take a long time for any standards to become um, set and for any confidence. Just not the provision of um, support from the government and um, there's not a time allocation for the extra time that it's going to take for teachers to do all this and um, as usual it's just not going to be implemented properly. In, in Mr Quinn's proposals we will have a situation whereby teachers are assessing their own students and we will become judge and jury of our students which is totally unfair. Keep up the good work. Yay. Yay. <laughs>